As Russia continues to push on, there is renewed urgency to supply Ukraine with more weapons. In the latest $800 million arms package to Ukraine, the U.S. government is expanding the types of weaponry being made available to the country. President Joe Biden had said in a statement following a phone call with Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky, this new package of assistance will contain many of the highly effective weapon systems we have already provided and new capabilities tailored to the wider assault we expect Russia to launch in eastern Ukraine. Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby said during a briefing following the White House's announcement for the first time, the U.S. will provide 18 155mm howitzers and 40,000 artillery rounds to fulfill Ukrainian requirements for fire support. Though not confirmed, the howitzers are most likely to be the M777. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how American-made M777 howitzers could be used by Ukraine to batter Russian forces. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. NordVPN is a premium VPN service available for macOS, iOS, Windows, and Android with more than 5,400 servers in 60 countries. But why use a VPN or virtual private network? VPN is an encrypted tunnel. A VPN can protect your privacy, which is threatened by many factors like data logging by Internet service providers. It can also help you access contents which are blocked based on geolocation. Why NordVPN? Its servers are fast and has zero log policy. Not only this, NordVPN has taken one step further and recently introduced a new feature, threat protection. Threat protection prevents malware from getting on users' devices and blocks trackers, intrusive and malicious ads, and harmful websites. Use the link in the description to get up to 71% off the two-year plan plus threat protection for no extra cost. At the checkout, use the code DEFENSE to get an extra month for free. The M777 howitzer is a towed 155mm artillery piece. The M777 is manufactured by BAE Systems Global Combat Systems Division. Prime Contract Management is based in Barrow in Furness in the United Kingdom, as well as manufacture and assembly of the titanium structures and associated recoil components. Final integration and testing of the weapon is undertaken at BAE's facility in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. It is used by the ground forces of Australia, Canada, India, Saudi Arabia, Ukraine, and the United States. It made its combat debut in the war in Afghanistan. The M777 is designed with weight and size in mind. It is lighter than any other 155mm howitzer. It is smaller and 42% lighter at under 4,100 kilograms or 9,000 pounds than the M198 it replaces. Most of the weight reduction is due to the use of titanium. The lighter weight and smaller size allow the M777 to be transported by the C-17 Globemaster and C-130J Super Hercules, as well as CH-47 Chinook helicopter and trucks with ease. Its maximum towed road speed is 88 km per hour or 55 miles per hour, and the towed cross-country speed is 50 km per hour or 31 miles per hour. The M777 is normally operated by a crew of eight men, but can be operated with a reduced detachment of five. The systems fitted with the digital fire control system are designated M777A1 and those with the software update that allow the firing of the Excalibur projectile, M777A2. As per reports, all M777A1 systems were upgraded to the A2 standard. The gun mainly uses two types of shells. One, 
standard M107 projectile that can be fired up to 25 kilometers or 15 and a half miles. 2. M982 Excalibur extended range guided artillery shell that can be fired up to 40 kilometers or 25 miles. It also has GPS guidance for improved accuracy. The circular error probable is of 5 to 20 meters, according to the manufacturer Raytheon. Initial combat experience with Excalibur in Iraq in the summer of 2007 was highly successful with 92% of rounds falling within 4 meters or 13 feet of their targets. Its performance was so impressive that the U.S. Army planned to increase production to 150 rounds per month from the previous 18 rounds per month. M777 can fire two to a maximum of five shells per minute. It's fitted with the General Dynamics Armament Systems Towed Artillery Digitization TAD, system. The TAD Digital Fire Control System provides onboard ballistic computation, navigation, pointing, and self location, providing greater accuracy and faster reaction times. The TAD system also includes a laser ignition system, electric drives for the howitzer's traverse and elevation, and a powered projectile rammer. Ukrainian forces are not used to operating this kind of American weapon. While the details have not been completely worked out, Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby said that it's most likely that a small number of Ukrainian troops will leave the country for a short period of time to learn from U.S. military instructors and then train other Ukrainian troops once they return to the fight. He had added, we believe that we can put together appropriate training for some of these systems very, very quickly. These are not highly complex systems. Kirby had also told reporters that the U.S. government aims to deliver this latest round of assistance as soon as possible and that previously announced assistance should be available in Ukraine within the next few days. M777 could play a key part in the Battle of Donbas, which Ukraine says has begun. John Kirby had noted the land there is flat, rolling plains and conducive to using long-range fires. He said the terrain lends itself to the use of artillery, and we know that the Russians also believe the same thing because we are seeing them move artillery units into the Donbas as well. So we want to give the Ukrainians every bit of advantage that we can. They specifically asked for artillery support. He added, that's reflective of the kind of fighting that the Ukrainians are expecting to be faced with here in this little bit more confined geographic area. The package also includes ANTPQ-36 firefinder radars that make it easy to track enemy shelling back to its point of origin. If Ukraine is able to use the M777 along with ANTPQ-36 Firefinder effectively, Russian forces are in for a real bad time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.